a huge concern for everybody in our community. Since 2010, we've increased our graduation rate by more than 400%. Um, we've really changed the way that we're recruiting at APD. We're, we're, we've changed our process. So we haven't changed the qualifications or the standards. Those will remain the same, and that's dictated by our settlement agreement, and we want them to stay the same. But if you look at data, 2013, we saw 17 graduates from the academy. 2014, we saw 53. 2015, we saw 33. And then in 2016, we saw 93. So you graduated the most cadets in more than a decade at AP, APD last year. We're really proud of the way that we've transformed the academy. Um, it's, it's to help these individuals grow. We screen about a thousand candidates to see one cadet class of 30. And that's, that's a huge task, going through backgrounds, going through physical fitness, going through written tests, going through polygraphs, uh, lie detector tests. And then you put all that money into getting a cadet into the academy and a seat, a chair for them. Why kick them out right away? Can we figure out a way to develop that individual and make them a good police officer? There are individuals you can't. But for the most part, we've seen that if we help mentor them and we take that extra time with that individual, they can become very, very productive um, police officers. We also published a staffing plan in June of 2016 that's available on the website and has lots of fun facts. One of those fun facts is the community uh, packed teams, which Lieutenant Burke, you know, is your lieutenant over your community policing team here in your area. Their goal is to work proactively with our community, with our business leaders, with you, with neighborhood watches, with individuals who have concerns, to make sure that uh, if there is a speeding concern, if there's a need for us to be in a school, we have a resource for those people in your area connect to go to, and that's the task force. I'm going to go over our current numbers because we get asked this a lot. Right now we have 844 Albuquerque police officers, that's all ranks and all um, levels. Of that, 488 are assigned to your field service officer, field services, so they're your beat team officers. That number does include sergeants and lieutenants. So that 488 are the people that are patrolling your streets. We have 37 PSAs. We've expanded this program to include part-time positions so that we are offering it to individuals who might be going to college, who might be um, wanting to do police work but aren't quite sure yet, they can still work a job, come work part-time for the police department, and we're helping them with that career development. Yes, Charles? Uh, what was the net gain of officers? I'd have to look. So, I don't know off the top So of your 400% increase in recruiting? From 2010 to present. Oh, from 2010 to present? Yes, sir. Okay, I was just curious what your net gain was from 